Stony Brook is going to play a lot of mixed up defense, starting with man, man to man, but also playing some zone. Vince Cole able to get the Red Storm on the board. Nine. They were trailing with a minute to go in regulation, but got two defensive stops and willed their way to bonus basketball in the win. And Very good at facing up and driving down the paint. And now a steal by Juan Felix Rodriguez, who had 21 on Friday. Now offensively, Stony Brook runs a lot of sets out of their elbow and high post action. The three swishes home for Ty Key Green. Lead for a totally new team for Geno Ford, the second year head coach. As Champagny buries it from the corner. And quick shots. Pull up ahead to Champagny, who tries another corner. And that's the sweet spot, D Wolves. St. John's has numbers here. Paul with the Euro, had it blocked, and now Guy out from the pack. He's super athletic. What that has to do with Guy and Sales, they're two rim protectors. So St. John's, you can't go down the lane and go to the rim weak. You got to go strong. After by Champagny, there was no way that he's going to thread that needle. And another turnover by the Red Storm. Four for each side as Guy with the right hand. Well, this is, and I think that's something that will help them to be a little less predictable, move the ball a couple times and make the defense shift, and D continues to go to work. And actually forcing St. John's into some turnovers. Toro with the left hand. Locked in offensively as he gets his second basket. Four points, two boards for the grand transfer from George Washington. Philippe with the pull-up. The defensive mentality of Alexander stands out leading the Big East with 12 steals on the season. As the up and under move goes for Jaden Sale. No St. John's wants to run, especially off of misses. To your point, the Red Storm won for their last seven from the field of Iwusu. Tough pull-up. It's an opportunity. He one-on-one -on -one against him now. The dish, shot altered by Champetti, but there on the cleanup is Sales. So pretty, pretty consistently throughout the game, throughout practice. And... Oh, give and go. Felix Rodriguez receiving it from Sales. Foreman transferred to Cal. Michael Lanay transferred to Miami. Andrew Garcia to Georgia. And they've come out here with a whole new look. And... Moving without the ball. Guy, again off to Juan Felix Rodriguez. The second down is falling asleep. And Penny, long on that attempt, but wills his way back over to Alexander. Nice second effort by Champagny. A back and forth start here in Queens. First meeting between these two in 11 years. Felix Rodriguez has caught fire, seven straight. It's five assists, he played 40 minutes on Friday against Fairfield. Champagny answers. Well, that's what you know you can do when you time Stony Brook three for their last three because of Juan Felix Rodriguez. This time he dishes it off. Ty Key Green capitalizes. Yep, and they're making St. John's pay. Safe to be a student athlete in the Big East. D on the drive. Goaltending called on Roberts. Stony Brook in a 2 3 here. Sorry, they're in the matchup man to man, but it looked like it was disguised as his own. Roberts with the turnaround. We are used to. Pass inside to Hobway, who was double. Sales left open. They want a freshman, point guard. Champagny with the swipe. The seventh, St. John Steel. Williams, the teardrop. But every players as well in R.J. Cole and Tyrese Martin, the transfer from Rhode Island. Greg Williams. Up to six points. Lose their discipline because they had to rotate multiple times, and next thing you know, BYU was able to knock down some shots. Adai Wusu swishes it home. You know, I do go through a testing, concussion testing pro pro protocol tomorrow and Tuesday, and if he gets cleared, there's a chance. Rebound by McGriff. St. John's starting to settle in here offensively. This young man, Williams, has been a big part of that. Into double figures. Greg Williams with 11 and a timeout for Stony Brook. Final minute of this first half. Stony Brook, once led by six. St. John's has shifted as John McGriff, the redshirt freshman. Now a steal. 
by Isaiah Moore. Moore with a fancy move and slam. Oh, Red Storm on a 19-2 run. They're whole for one. They got to get a good shot here. Three seconds for Erlington. Erlington. What a way to close the first half for the Red Storm. A 22-2 surge. The pull up. Alexander, once again, able to swipe it quickly from Policelli, and that just leads to a Champagne triple. And now another steal, this time by Cole. Johnny's have numbers up ahead to Moore. Another two-hand jam, and a timeout for Stony Brook. And he couldn't convert. Well, St. John's has done a much better job on the glass, and they've been able to neutralize Sales and Gee, who started off the first half very, very effective. Just get your momentum, and I think that last five-minute stretch of the first half started with Greg Williams making some shots. Sam. Fifth in the American East, and certainly with the new team, they're still getting to know each other. Greg Williams yet again. He's got 16. He's bringing the coaches in the league. That's almost playing with fire. Nine of the last 10 years, Stony Brook is finishing the top two of the conference. Champagne, boom! John Linehan, a great point guard for Providence a few years back. Palacelli from distance. Serious range. Mm -hmm. Deal, though, right back. Ultimately, the St. John's ball pressure has been too much for Stony Brook here. A corner swish home. John's trying to get some movement. A lot of curl screens and cross screens. Oh, Greg Williams. Tariq, you referenced the off ball. Yeah. Guy with the spin. Hello. And one. Daiwusu hesitation in the bucket. Footwork and the patience and play him at the five and have more of a passing kind of oriented big in Toro. That drive and score by Hobway. Williams off to Toro. The spin move from the big man and the foul. Because Alexander makes you play faster than you want to. The Griff up top to Moore. <laughs> Junior, you can't help to root for him. Great attitude, always thinks team first, and put a lot of hard work in, in the offseason to, to be the play. And very good rebounder, just a, a gamer. And I think he's probably one of the best talents we have in the Big East this year. And the foul for Hobway. Championship, and, you know, the history of Stony Brook goes back a long ways and Gino Ford is associate head coach for three years Jeff Bowles moving on to Ohio Bowles and Ford playing together as Bobcats as McGriff with his second bucket of the game and coach Anderson wasn't happy with that so that's what they worked on being patient probing the defense not taking the easy first shot but making the defense work action on green his second block in the last three minutes Carraher from Williams. Coach Anderson yelling to his guys to keep the ball on the side. He does not want the ball middle. For time with Fairfield. Five of their top six players are transfers. And Mo Gee, the six, is taking on an entirely new role this year. But Frankie Palacelli's been a bright spot. His About the way that young man's playing today. Well, he played alongside Tyke Green. At Long Island Lutheran as Roberts jams that home. Right pieces, and I think they're going to be in good shape come conference play. Gee down the lane. The explosiveness and the foul. Well, double guy, so LJ doesn't have to shoulder all that responsibility that he did to St. John's last year. Roberts with the give from Adai Wusu from their first loss of the season. They've done it in resounding fashion. Closing the first half on a 22-2 run. Greg Williams matching his career high, and St. John's is a winner on this Sunday in Queens, moving to 4-1 on the season.